apologize for that abrupt uh, break. Uh, Mr. Fakshinka, you were talking about uh, the issue between uh, the former minister, Alison Maduki, and the federal government before we went on that break. Yes, sir. I mean, having established the fact that some attempts naturally would have been made, and um, it's still a subject to some court ruling. For me, uh, what matters as an accountant and as a process person is that this news coming out for Mrs. Alice in Madrigal, we are not hearing this for the first time. We are not saying passes for the first time. What have we really done with court rulings and for features, at least a few others in times past? Yes, we may not be in government, but um, what the prescription of the law says is that if you have something you call an asset register, an asset recovery register. It tells you and itemizes what has been profited, cash, landed properties, gold, jewelries, etc., and establish values for them. And this will be kept in a place where people could go verify that they are there. So it's not just going to be um, a hash records. Hash records, physically seen independently, you know, seen by accountants. And after one year or two years, government takes a decision, what should be done? Are you going to be selling them on auction? Are you going to be, you know, are you going to wait for, um, if uh, there is an appeal against the judgment that put that on, mm. all, all has timeline. And if I tell you, in the past, in the past seven years, not to talk since we got back into independence, if you properly list the way I have prescribed, I wonder if the kind of borrowing that we say we are borrowing to do infrastructure, as to you know, health and all that, would be in that same group of that's number one. Then number two, how do you dispose of them? Do you do it at arm's length, as lawyers and accountants will say, mm -hmm. or if um, something that is done under the under the table, we just decide that do some do uh, ask some people to just come and then just fill it out. All of these are the things that now erode trust. It now becomes a stolen item, stolen by some set of um, <laughs> other other things. You know, uh, Alibaba, the big team and then the forty is also stealing around. Yeah. We'll see how this will pan out. Remember there was a time between this particular regime when they said some monies were recovered somewhere in the Koyi and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, I didn't put my ear to the ground. I haven't seen, I won't add um, what has happened or how that those were um, disposed of. The real problem, which is the perception in the public, is that when these recoveries are made, somebody sits on them in a way. When I say sits on them, the point the PI okay. has the power to find a way to dispose or not to dispose or put put and not declare the way they should be declared. It should be very transparent, it should be very focused, it should be done by independent analysts. And uh, people will not begin to, to believe them. All right. I must say a very big thank you to you, uh, Mr. Akin Fatunke. He is uh, the fellow, a fellow of the ICANN and a communication uh, uh, trainer. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. We go on with the news recap this morning. All right. Let's go to Oshun politics. Four suspects arraigned before Oshun State High Court over vote trading during July 16. Oshun governorship election have been granted bail with the sum of 2 million naira each. The four suspects who were arrested by the officials of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission pleaded not guilty to the two count charge leveled against them by the EFCC. Counsel to the suspect had moved oral application for the bail of the suspect, but the defense counsel opposed the application after argument by both counsels. Justice Matthias and Guola granted bail to the suspects with two million naira each and surety in like sum, including civil servants who is not lower than grade 11 to 13. The case is adjourned to the 21st and 28th of next month.
July 2022, some persons were arrested for buying votes and selling votes as well, which has to do with uh, Section 212 of the Electoral Act 2022. So they applied for bail after the arraignment. The court considered it we argued orally, and the court believed that uh, he has discretion, which is true, to either grant the bail or otherwise under Section 158 of the Criminal Justice Law. So he granted the bail. And then the matter has been adjourned now to 21st and 28th of November for definite hearing. The court granted the bail application, which we don't have any issue with. But we are ready for the trial. Our witnesses are willing, eager, and ready to testify in this case. Yes, the defendants today were arraigned before my noble lord in respect of... Uh, uh, alleged uh, vote buying and uh, the charges were read to the defendants to which they pleaded not guilty which means that uh, they are ready to actually I mean, fight the case to a very logical conclusion and we have actually applied for their bail application which the court was magnanimous enough to grant you recall that even in uh, in the earlier bail uh, in the earlier matter that transpired in Eloy, we made an application for their bail before an Eloy High Court, which the court also granted. So this time around, too, the court has graciously because, I mean, they have graciously granted the bail because uh, it's the constitutional right of the accused person. The offence is a bailable offence. In commemoration of the 2022 United Nations Peace Day, the International Peace Commission, IPC, has called on the federal government to bring the bulk and to bring to bulk any individual or organization found culpable in sponsoring or promoting insecurity. Uh, the head of the mission, International Peace Commission, IPC, Usaini Kumasi, made the call on Monday while briefing journalists at a media conference in Abuja. Komasi, who lamented about the worsening insecurity in the country, stressed the need to create an enabling environment for youth restiveness to be addressed in every part of the country and tackle insecurity urgently. He appealed to politicians and political parties to avoid hate speeches and all actions cap capable of creating unnecessary tension and truncating the outcome of the forthcoming 2023 general election. Security is everyone's business, and we cannot afford to toy with it. I know President Muhammad Buhari has been working tirelessly in making sure he brings back peace and security to affected areas. As the leader of IPC in Nigeria, I want to see the president putting more efforts in resolving security challenges and bring to book any individual or organizations, no matter how highly placed, found capable in sponsoring or promoting insecurity in the country. The president should keep trying his best not to hand over an unsecured country to the incoming administration. As the 2023 general elections campaigns is ongoing, I will advise all the political parties to guide their utterances to avoid creating unnecessary tension by way of incitement. incitement. All right, here in Lagos, the state government on Monday issued a fresh update to all waterfront residents of Highbrow, Ikoyi, Lekki, and Victoria Island and coastal areas of Ekme and Badagri to be wary of backflow due to the high tide in the Lagos Lagoon. The State Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tunji Bello, explained that the latest advisory had become necessary due to the high tide of the Lagos Lagoon. Bello stressed that the high tide of the lagoon has made it difficult for storm runoff from the various channels to discharge effectively into the lagoon, which may cause a stagnation into the streets and major roads until the level of the lagoon subsides to allow for a discharge of the channels. It described the trending video of the water level under the third Milan Bridge almost being filled to the brim as fake news 
stating that the video only captures the Owuron Shoki end of the Todd Millen Bridge, which is normal because the area is a deck on par. He cautioned people, especially those on the social media, against sending panicking messages across to residents. Now to the foreign now to the foreign news. Security forces in Sudan have stepped up a crackdown in recent days to deter protesters from taking part in a major march on Tuesday. Demonstrators plan to demand full civilian rule one year after a military coup, a military coup upended Sudan's transition to democracy and uh, tipped the country into an economic crisis. Many activities are bracing for violence from the police force, which has come under significant criticism since the death of a young man, Mudasa Kamal, in custody on the 11th of October. Three days after his arrest, the police released a statement saying Kamal died in custody because of stomach pain. But Kamal's family and human rights lawyers say his body bears signs of torture. Lawyers and activists are now calling for an independent investigation and a credible autopsy. Over the former finance minister, Rishi Sunak, has won the Conservative Party leadership race. Imagine the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. After gathering the required number of support in Parliament, the development followed weeks of turmoil. Sunak will be the third British, British Premier in two months after Boris Johnson and Liz Truss resigned. Sunak will become the UK's first British Asian Prime Minister and at 42 years, the youngest leader in more than two centuries. Immediately after being selected by Tory members of Parliament, he ruled out an early general election and warned the country faces profound economic challenges. Through a time of great change, and under exceptionally difficult circumstances, both at home and abroad. I am humbled and honored to have the support of my parliamentary colleagues and to be elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. It is the greatest privilege of my life to be able to serve the party I love and give back to the country I owe so much to. The United Kingdom is a great country, but there is no doubt we face a profound economic challenge. We now need stability and unity, and I will make it my utmost priority to bring our party and our country together, because that is the only way we will overcome the challenges we face and build a better, more prosperous future for our children and our grandchildren. I pledge that I will serve you with integrity and humility, and I will work day in, day out to deliver for the British people. That is it on the news recap for today. We will go on a short break. When we return, we will continue with the conversations of the day. Don't go anywhere. Please stay with us. We will be right back. Papa, mama, brother, sister. This Lagos must work for all of us. Everybody Oh yes, Lagos people, Papa, Mama, Sister, Brother, Auntie, plus including Uncle them. Better don't land for Lagos State Gidigba. Money will be for Lagos State, then go use them for Lagos State. Well, no more Baba Sope. Then no go chop Lagos State money. Nobody go pocket Lagos State. Then go take and build Lagos State, build road, build hospital, build houses. And now only one man fit do this job. He named na Abdulaziz or Lajide Adediron Janto. He can't carry one of Bunga person as a deputy governor. Her name na Funka Kindele. My people, what will they wait for? Make we vote for light, vote for change. Nobody can change where they vote before. This one na the original change. Hmm, how am I done to pay the pay? Everybody got a full echo. The body of Mr. Namdi Wokiji was found at 
the beach house this morning. When was the last time you saw Namdi at the party? Did you notice anything strange about last night? Are you taking money from my mother for this wedding? You shouldn't be looking at that. Ichi killed my son, and I want the world to know it. Here for the show-stopping magic of a moment. Get DSTV Combat with an HD decoder plus dish kit for only 14,900 Naira to watch all 64 matches here for every fan. Do you have continuity or association plan for your business? Has anyone shared the concept of sustainability with you? What about the need to protect the rights of minority shareholders? What are those ingredients germane to having effective meetings? For these and many more, tune in to a corporate governance platform every Thursday on MITV, your darling station, on DSTV 255 and UHF 43 at 4.30pm. Corporate governance platform is your best medium for informative and educative strategies for the practice of the corporate governance profession. Institute, Institute of, of Chartered, Chartered Secretaries and, and Administrators of Nigeria, Nigeria. ISAN, the, the hub of, of governance, governance professionals. professionals. Papa, Mama, Brother, Sister, this Lagos must work for all of us. Everybody, Jafun Echo. Oh, yes, Lagos people. Papa, Mama, Sister, Brother, Auntie, plus including Uncle, them. Better don't land for Lagos State, Gidiba. Money will be for Lagos State, then go use them for Lagos State. Wella, no more Baba Sope. Then no go chop Lagos State money. Nobody go pocket Lagos State. Then go take and build Lagos State, build road, build hospital, build houses. And now only one man fit do this job. He name na Abdulaziz or Lajide Adediron Janto. He can't carry one of Bunga person as a deputy governor. Her name na Funka Kindele. My people, what will they wait for? Make we vote for light, vote for change. Nobody can change where they vote before. This one na the original change. Hmm, how am I do? Pay the pay. Everybody got Fueco. And welcome back. In the studio right now with us, we have uh, an entrepreneur in the person of uh, Mr. Tolani Uju. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good to always have you with us to discuss matters that arise. Thank yes. you very much. Good morning, viewers at home. Yes. Last week, the news broke out of uh, a popular uh, pastor, Apostle Suleiman. It was an assassination attempt over his life. In that assassination attempt, uh, seven people were killed. Seven of his eight were killed. And then um, he went on social media to show Nigerians uh, what the vehicle looked like. Well, he was fortunate to escape the assassination attempt uh, because he was actually riding in a bulletproof car. But unfortunately, uh, the aides, uh, his aides were not uh, driving, they were not riding in a bulletproof car. 
A day after that incident, he also went out to social media to give a media broadcast telling the nation and the world at large of what actually happened and uh, what he suspects and also he said some so many indicting uh, statements in that broadcast we're going to be looking at that issue now it was just it was a very very unfortunate um, uh, uh, incident that very happened sad, very very, very, sad, very, very sad. sad now my first um, question to all of us is that uh, we have um, dignitaries we have um, people you know placed in the uh, in high positions in the country they have several aides you know following them unfortunately it is the man and his family you know so to speak that they are supposed to secure that remains in the bulletproof car what is your take about all of this should they not begin to think of uh, uh, getting bulletproof cars for their aides also or oh, before I go to this, what's your reaction about uh, the assassination attempt? Uh, well, uh, my reaction is um, I saw the video. I saw I mean, it came on. I mean, I mean, it came on social media. Um, mm. um, it's quite unfortunate. We and this is the second time in less than six weeks where we had um, this. First one was um, um, the fine bar, and this particular one, whereby the main person is in a bulletproof car and lives of their security aides are wasted mm. i mean these are trained policemen they're not just your usual policemen they are trained policemen and each time from time to time you hear the ig and people in the government saying that well they're going to withdraw um police escorts and police aides from vips and we now just wonder what's going on here i mean four policemen in just one attack mm. That is really, really serious. Hmm. Okay. Well, according to them, there are police men and three of his aides. And yes. seven people died. And we are not questioning this man by now. I mean, it's really... Um, Nigerians should wake up, number one. Who should how be questioned? He should be questioned and other people around. Um, because I learned the DPO had been... Um, he was, um, I think, suspended or something, the DPO for that program. Because other things happened... Some things that, I mean, there was a chain of events after that particular incident. Mm. According to the news, social media, I mean, people reacted, people around there came online and said, oh, one of these attackers was caught um, alive, and they handed him over to the police, and the DPO shot. Mm. Uh, the police shot that particular suspect. Mm. And the police had not come to deny, I mean, they've not come out to deny this particular, I mean, incident. Mm. Yeah, they did not yes. come out to say, oh, no, nobody was, I mean, they did not come out to say that and it's like this is a trend but that 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 was not even direct from uh apostle Suleiman himself yes uh well he, he came out to say that i mean he, he made statements after that that i mean one of the suspects was apprehended and he's in a way of um, covering up um in a way i mean in order to cover up um, what happened um, the suspect died in their custody mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, for how long are you going to go back? Do you know what it takes to train a policeman one, two? Do you know, I mean, once um, um, a breadwinner dies in the family, can you just imagine, probably just simulate what happens to his wife, his children, and all exactly. that? I mean, the way you just lose lives and just move on like that. It's so, it's so sad. And this kind of thing should be nipped in the bud. If you have a bulletproof, um, vehicle for yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't need other escort. I mean, it's as simple as that. You can secure yourself. I mean, even where this culture came from, if you have someone in a bulletproof um, car, of course, in war town areas, if you have someone, I mean, if you have um, um, a VVIP in a, in a bulletproof car, mm -hmm. the cars in front and at the back definitely will have, I mean, their personnel in bulletproof vehicles exactly. as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, we, the earlier we stop the strength, the better for us. And, and, and the pastor, the pastor came out to say he is aware of the attackers. Don't you think it should be called for questioning? And that's why I said the police will have called him in for questioning mm. right now. And but the fact remains that, you know, the, the, the usual uh, uh, trend, well, I wouldn't know. We don't have the lawyer yet in, in the studio with us. I wouldn't know if it is, you know, uh, uh, that's the legal, the legal thing to do or probably is the right thing to do. 
uh, is that you know the police will just keep uh, quiet about a situation until the situation is reported formally. So maybe probably Apostle Suleiman hasn't gone to make a formal. Report. There was a time um, a particular artist came out and made a careless statement that he was behind um, some particular, I mean, a group of people and yeah. all that. He made the video and, of course, he was invited in for questioning. Mm. The statement that Michael Suleiman made, he said he knows those people behind that. He would not name them. Mm. You know, he's been in the social media news I for mean, several reasons in the recent times. The police, they, they don't need... People died in this country. People mm. lives were lost. Mm. We are not just, I mean... So it should you definitely be the case of the, the government. The police should be giving us updates. Update. As in, this is what happened. This is what we have done. We are calling in for questioning. Mm. This is and what so is how far that none of we that have has gone. Done yet. And everybody just kept... Mm. Mint on it. In, in other... Not even saying that crime. In other crime, you could kill a policeman. You could kill one policeman. Mm. That, that criminal gun, they are in trouble. Because they will look for them. They will fish them out. You can do whatever you want to do. Crime and whatever. But you don't kill... A policeman and you kill four hmm. and everybody just goes like that i mean i mean it's sad one of the presidential it's candidates actually came out to say this is an act of terrorism what is your take on this oh well um <laughs> it's not per se it's more like um from the way he said it it's like oh he has issues with some people i mean this one thing or the other and from the videos coming out and from statements being made it's, they should sort themselves out they should not just make um other citizens sacrificial lands they should sort these things out and it is not all about the government it's not all about the police it's about we people. we need to reorientate ourselves we need to even look at okay our politicians our so-called religious leaders from another angle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really because, because oh, oh it's i mean we should now start thinking how close do I need to move to this so-called man of God across the divide? Oh, mm -hmm. you, I mean, they are moving, you want to be close to them, you want to be in their convoy, mm -hmm. you should now learn. You want to be in their convoy, some people even leave their parents out, move into their house, then they are at risk. Because you don't even know what that, he or she, that man of God is doing. And because you see them in one standard, they are human beings, not a, not a problem. But we need to um, come alive, we need to, uh, like, uh, as they said on the street, shine our eyes. Mm -hmm. We need to shine our eyes because, okay, there's a scandal here, there's a scandal there, okay, the scandals come and go. Now, it's claiming lives. We need to sit ourselves down. What's the, the, this whole matter of religion? Mm -hmm. How is it going? What is the need for so Parents start warning their children. Be careful how you hang around these so called men of So, do you now think, yes, we have had uh, uh, talks here and there about um you know dignitaries moving about with aids do you think we need uh, a legal binding you know to all of this restriction restricting you know uh dignities from doing all of this like, because honestly mm. you 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 like you have rightly said you see some uh, ministers of god and you begin to wonder what is the sermon what what are you what actually are you preaching uh, from my last because day. when you have all of them, all the security is God not no more. Your, from my last your, your, your we, we from, is God no more your from, this, God. This, this we is start from home. Parents <laughs> start warning their children, not even their young children, now their adult children. Mm. The way they hang around these so called men of God, the way they hang around politicians, because these are high risk targets. I mean, they are, they are mm. targets. Exactly. So, you, they, you should be very, very careful at the end of the day of what benefit. Mm. Sit down and look at it. Or what benefit are they to you? Like once a life is cut short, that mm. family, that family line can never be the same exactly. again. Exactly. So if you're talking about oh having a legislative, I mean uh, a, a kind of law that yeah. no, it is if you don't if people start moving away from them, they too, they would sit, they would adjust their because if you see the well, way that's, that's they idolize, mm -hmm. the uh, way you, they you idolize realize, these people, you realize they idolize that them. A lot of people, uh, uh, so to speak, uh, depend on these people. Okay. Okay. Probably someone needs to do a documentary about all these people that lost their life i mean the names are in the public space people that died on their feet mm -hmm. i mean now with social media you get their names and just go 
back to their homes and villages. Oh, when this person died, what happened? Even when known people die in this um, in this society, mm. their families suffer. How much more people who don't even have enough means? There's no insurance in place. Even there's insurance in place. How much? When when is it paid? What's mm. the social? What's I mean, social security do they have? Mm. And it's even then something that oh, that people lobby to be on their to be on their team, on their, team. On their security team, mm. and all that. The media should just go a bit further. Do a documentary. People who have lost their lives in the past two, three, four years. Interview their wives. Interview their children. And let's see where they are now. And and so you wait. What you want to gain now, and what you want to gain in the future. So it is. It is as simple as that. We don't even need. We have enough laws covering our our day to day living, but people just. We don't need to wait for government. What, 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 what impact do you think this assassination attempt is going to have on the Christian body in Nigeria? Before now, we've been having priests being kidnapped. We've had also people trying to prevent their priests from being kidnapped. They shot them, they killed several, many. Mm. Be, I mean, some got to the media, some did not. Yeah. A lot. People just need to wake up. People need to wake up. People need to wake up. I mean, it's not about uh, oh, a man of God, Christ, mm. and people mm. just need to come to their senses. Mm. Because it's more of, um, we try as much as possible not mm. to mess around religious topics and all that. It's across the divide. Either it's a, it's a pastor or a Muslim or even a traditionalist. We just, when it comes to religion, we just shut down. We don't sit down and think. Because we are spiritual people. They're not spiritual people, we're <laughs> people. <laughs> and you know, they're not spiritual, we're credible. <laughs> because it, it, that, oh, they said that was mm. what they said. If you don't go to church on Sunday morning, uh, you, you go to hell. Who said? COVID came, people church for almost six months. What, what mm. happened? We are here and well. Exactly. Mm. Pastor will see you, or, or, or a credit will see you and tell you, I'm going like, to sit down. I mean, so we need to talk to ourselves, we need to work hard, mm. we need to change our morals. This is good, this is bad. There's no big deal about it. And we need to. It's like, oh, my parents said, oh, you need to go to this man of God. A man of God is telling you, I'm looking at you. You have to be very, very careful. I was there. <laughs> so we need to, the orientation, mm -hmm. yes, some of us were raised by free thinkers and we could see things from different, different sides of the divide. Yes, they are, some of them are wonderful. They direct you in a particular path. Don't do this. This is good. This is not good. Mm -hmm. But you're not, not taking the place of God in my life. Mm -hmm. no, it's what happened. No, no, no. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> well, I just hope that uh, Nigerians, most especially, because you know it, this happens. Uh, uh, I, well, I, I've, I've not uh, really lived outside Nigeria very well, so I wouldn't know what happens there. But yeah. here in Nigeria, it's in the news. Uh, <laughs> it's in the news. It's in the news. <laughs> what does matter some countries now that religion was used to? Kick them now. Well, we will just uh, uh, advise our religious leaders to uh, try as much as possible to leave what they preach, leave it, you know, be a living example. I think that's what this we will really see. It's uh, you find a whole lot of them in the news for uh, negative reasons, mm. which is not supposed to be. Uh, the Englishman says uh, evil lives and. Uh, in a glass house, uh, yeah. you know, you know, yeah. throw stones, and so uh, I feel that uh, they should try and pay more attention to the kind of life they. I mean, I, I as a person, I like I tell my children that I'm, I'm particular about what goes out there about me. I'm particular about this name that I have made. I'm particular yeah. about this exactly. image. This is my small me here, mm -hmm. you know. So how much mm -hmm. more uh, these people that you know once they once they go into the the, the, the restroom to we the whole world knows exactly. about it. Exactly. So I, I, well, I just feel that I just hope and I keep I pray that uh, mm -hmm. they will um, uh, uh, set more examples. And uh, our, our heart uh, goes to uh, those people that actually lost their yeah, life. Sympathize. And, and I just pray that uh, Apostle Suleiman, well, he is a philanthropy, that he is, he is a philanthropist rather, mm -hmm. that we know. I just hope that uh, he Can will not leave uh, the families of those people, you know, uh, just like that. 
Now I want to take you, I want to go to another story that, you know, broke out yesterday about this particular father that uh, broke the, the hand of his eight-week-old child. That is, is still to me unbelievable. I still cannot understand. I still, I'm, I've, been, I've been trying to go around the news to know if he was actually drunk or something, or probably he had. <laughs> Some people will say there, spiritual there go. attack. There we there, go. There we go again. <laughs> spiritual attack of village people. Or probably he had people, some exactly. uh, mental mm. disorder or yeah. something. Yeah. Mm. We live, we live in a society whereby we don't pay so much attention to our <laughs> mental health. Mm. Um, well, mm. I could give, mm. if it, let me give us credit out on this station that, yeah, from time to time, we focus on mental, mental health. health. I mean, yes, 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 I mean, yes, yesterday, yesterday we still yes, had we um, a talk on There's mental health, like but I mean, going around um, financial, uh, exactly. bank, but hey, by now, that guy should be sitting in front of a psychologist and they need to really get mm. what exactly the problem happened. Mm -hmm. What exactly? Because even if you ask him, like, oh no, I don't even know what happened, but find out his past, mm -hmm. what happened right from the, ch uh, the time he was a child, who did what? You, you might be shocked that probably this ch this guy was abused as a toddler or as a child, mm -hmm. and these things keep coming back mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. So we need to pay so much attention to true. our mental health, mm -hmm. and these things probably. I mean. Um, he probably needs to go for therapy and stuff like that. And it's so painful that yes, yeah, some NGOs are trying to um, drum up support for mental health issues. Mm. And you find that when even they discover problems in some schools and they tell the parents, they're like, oh, no, 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 my child is okay, there's nothing wrong with my child. And this same child goes up to be somebody's husband and this comes up. So he might even not be drunk. He might not be a uh, big, but something there in his past needs to be taken care of, and he needs to be addressed. Even if we send him to prison, he will come back. He still come back. Mm. That problem is still there. Mm. Probably this marriage gets uh, whatever it is, but that issue needs to be. Addressed. You need to. I mean, if you can identify the problem, then it's easier for you to get a solution. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And exactly. there are many of him out there I'll in this society. I'll I'll I know it's a challenge to come out to say even for spouses to say, oh my, my spouse has a mental health challenge mm. and whatever. Mm. But by now we should have help. We lines. should have we should have we even should have helpline. Yeah the police we here should. and there trying to but the mm. capacity is not just there yet. Of course, it is of a course. big problem. This made the need probably because somebody in their neighborhood got to know little to the I mean, little to the press. No, the, the, the mother of the baby but, actually made but, uh, brought uh, 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 made a noise about it. I think it was when the baby she and actually the man took, is still on the run. The yes, she actually took the, the baby to the hospital and. Um, unfortunately, I think it was at the point that the baby had uh, the baby's hand had to be amputated that she cried her out. And if, I'm, I'm double sure it's not the first. Time, it might not be his first time. Oh. Of, I mean, exhibiting this kind you know, of there, behavior. There, 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 there. And uh, like, oh, he has mm. anger issues, he that will be taken care of. No, that's not no. Okay, we will go on a short break now. When we return, as our guest is still in the studio, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Papa, mama, brother, sister, this Lagos must work for all of us. Everybody, they Oh, yes, Lagos people. Papa, mama, sister, brother, auntie, plus including uncle them. Better don't land for Lagos State Gidiba. Money will be for Lagos State. Then go use them for Lagos State. Well, no more Baba Sope. Then no go chop Lagos State money. Nobody go pocket Lagos State. Then go take and build Lagos State. Build road, build hospital, build houses. And now only one man fit do this job. He name na Abdulaziz or Lajide Adediron Janto. He can't carry one no bungle person as a deputy governor. Her name na Funka Kindele. My people, what will they wait for? Make we vote for light, vote for change. Nobody can change where they vote before. This one na the original change. Hmm, how am I do? Pay the pay. Everybody got The body of Mr. Namdi Wokiji was found at a beach house this morning. When was the last time you saw Namdi at the party? Did you notice anything strange about last night? Are you taking money from my mother for this wedding? You shouldn't be looking at that. Ichi killed my son, and I want the world to 
Welcome, welcome back. Right now, we, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tolani Ojuri. We still have him in the studio with us. And uh, we will be talking right now about issues that affect, that is affecting a lot of Nigerians now. Brain drain. We will be talking about brain drain. And uh, NMA came out to say that 10,296 Nigerian trained doctors now practicing in the UK. Re re uh, report report said to, told us that we have one doctor to ten thousand uh, uh, patients. Hmm. We're still battling about uh, we're still battling, you know, about that. When we started the show, I said the the worst thing the worst thing that can happen to a Nigerian now is to fall sick. Mm -hmm. And we still have a lot of Nigerians, a, a lot of Nigerian tr doctors go in. In fact, these people they they are being offered jobs right from there because a friend of mine a friend of mine she is a senior matron she actually got she just 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 she was sitting in her house no? that was trending now god knows how they give us she just got the, the mail she got <laughs> she just she got mm. that job mm. giving her husband her children everything and mm. everything and she's she's gone and we have that is the person i know we have 1001 you know Numerous. people like that we're still coming we're still coming back to those that are you know relocating through one means or the other but let's talk about the medical practitioners now the effect on our uh, our country well some time ago the minister of um, the uh, the minister of health he came out to say that uh, we have uh, much more than enough uh, medical doctors in Nigeria. I'm sure you remember that interview on a particular uh, 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 station. You know, he said that a Nigerian came at him. Well, I don't know if he can still say uh, that no, that right now, because even as at the time he said that, we weren't sure of that statement. Mm -hmm. So, what what's your reaction um, to all of this? With the medical doctors, with that focus, there was a, there was a documentary on BBC released I think last week or two weeks ago mm -hmm. concerning medical doctors relocating abroad and their conditions of service it is really appalling. It is, if BBC could I'm sure if you check through their I mean their website and yes, I saw the it's there's a WHO um the WHO uh, kind of uh, arrangement that you don't even employ that the Western countries shouldn't employ uh, doctors from some particular country, some struggling country mm -hmm. that they don't even have enough. So don't don't um, try to employ, take what they don't have enough of from them. But somehow the uh, British government, British society, have a back way of employing these people. Mm -hmm. And let them tell you, let them tell you, Oha, mm -hmm. what their conditions of service is like. Some of them work 18 hours, 20 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Yes, the money can be okay. I'm making so much money, but what's the condition of service? What's I mean, how do they work? Some of them leave where they work, they leave just a room upstairs, so they call them anytime. Yeah. Yes, um, the brain drain is a trend. We had it before when Saudi years back, because I mean, my late mom was medical personnel and I knew when that was going on. Saudi Arabia came massive recruitment a lot of medical personnel so that is like a season we are in that season again everybody would go now relax that is, so it, it goes mm. it comes and goes like that yes but i am not saying i mean it's um it's like six and a half a dozen oh they i mean they pay us um better I mean, wages and allowances i get four million a month how much do you pay in taxes how much are you paying when it comes to electricity, water, I mean, utility bill, what your utility bill like, what's your, yes, yeah, security, oh, the security there and all, and all, and all. Meanwhile, this, in this same plan, in this same country, doctors are coming from out there to come and work here. Nah. We bring it, yes, we bring in some doctors 
No, but, but, but not, but, uh, no, no, but, not on a, but not on a permanent basis. Not on permanent basis, Somehow, rather. On permanent basis, you just don't make noise about it. If you have money to pay and go to those facilities, you find foreign doctors there. You find Nigerian yeah, and doctors. Support. I mean, they are there. So, yeah, the numbers are not the same. You have more going out, but you have yeah. less coming in. Yes. But, yes. hey, let's even see. Everybody just wants to leave. Okay, let them leave and let's see. We have issues here, power supply, running of business, running of hospital here. It's quite challenging. Mm -hmm. You want to do, you want to go to the government hospital, they've all left. And I'm not disputing that. It is a very challenging environment to run a business. I run a business and I know how challenging it is. Everybody just wants to, I mean, you want to send your child to a good school, you're spending so much, and your salary is not commensurate with um, what the kind of life you want to live. But um, our government has got a lot of work because it's like going from the statements that are coming from the government sometimes is like you just wonder are you sure this person made this statement mm -hmm. because no matter they don't even know how many people i mean they don't have a proper figures we've not had sense of for almost 15 years mm -hmm. so even the one we have we've, even we've not had for almost 15 years <laughs> and i mean we i was in a particular um i was on a course i mean and we had students from all over the world and it was an assignment to to use our last population census, I mean, uh, the figures. And they said the figures you, you must, you, you, I mean, you have to use should not be more than five years. And I said, we've not had one for 15 years. <laughs> the guy didn't believe me. <laughs> that you mean in your country you've not had a census in 15 years? I said, we've not. So from that assignment, I was I was picked up. Hmm. The one for next year, you're not even sure if you're going to have census for next year or not. You're not sure yet. So if we know the numbers of people we have, I mean, vis-a-vis -vis the number of doctors. And mind you, you've had after strike for so long. So you won't have doctors graduating in, the in one or two years. Mm. So we mm. have all those problems. Yes. And okay, are, are they coming to tell you, oh, this is the gap we have. This is how we intend to fill in the gap. Are we going to have two admissions? Are we going to try going to a government hospital? Um, either states at the state level or at the federal level. These are the challenge, and this is where you're meant to have the best the doctors. Best. Yes, the very best. I have a particular problem. Um, persons with diabetes have to see dermatologists. Mm -hmm. Try getting a dermatologist. You won't even find mm -hmm. in a state hospital. You can only find them in teaching hospital. Mm -hmm. So imagine somebody down with skin cancer. Mm -hmm. That person is as good mm -hmm. as God. So these problems are staring us in the face and the earlier we start pointing them out, start telling the government, these are the problems we have, how are you trying to um, take care of these problems? It is not just about, it's not just about coming on TV or radio um, telling us, oh, if they want to go, they can go. Really? That means you're telling your people that if you want to die, they can die. Hmm. That's the that's exactly. a problem that we have. And if they could take care of the problem these people are leaving at the point <laughs> there's a particular instance whereby um they were having exams and the government went to disrupt the, the government officer went to disrupt that particular venue and let them but i mean it, they are still going nothing to do nothing to entice them to stay nothing to say oh okay hmm. if you stay this is this and this is that nothing to even encourage more people to go into that line because you don't have doctors studying Young, I mean, younger people writing um, exams and that uh, don't bother um, going to medical profession. There's no money there. Hmm. Mm. You have it coming every day. There's no money there. There's no point. You can't, person can't even rather go into IT, go into this, go into that. I mean, and look at in other, um, in some other countries, there's a deliberate effort. India, for instance, there's a deliberate effort making people go towards a particular direction or more people going to medicine you do this and at the end of the day there's a long term plan whereby you will have that place for medical tourism. You can do it here. We uh, have it here on a small scale. Yes, very, very small scale. Who says we can't have it on, on a bigger scale? If well, they are saying that um, you have some people who come for some particular kind of surgery. They're coming from the UK, from the US, they come in, they come in quietly, do it and go back. Yes. Yeah, I, I think there are some doctors who have actually made their decisions that they're going to stay in Nigeria regardless to practice. What motivation do you think the government can give to uh, such doctors? 
they don't they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't um, no, no, but honestly, do you <laughs> actually think, because I have a couple of uh, medical practitioners that are my personal friends, and I have this particular uh, uh, um, um, dental dentals surgeon. He will tell you that he, most of the times he tells his uh, friends and mm. his uh, colleagues, he, he discourages them from, from traveling. From traveling uh, because Frank, uh, he, like he keeps like saying us. that, mm. well, Nigeria is the in thing. Exactly. And, you know, it brings me back to the, the everyday man, you know, even leaving the professional doctors now. The everyday man on the street, every, if you pick an average Nigerian, you pick uh, 10 uh, Nigerians, eight of them are planning to, let me use the word, Jatma. Jatma. They are planning to Jatma. Jatma nation. <laughs> and he, he, you see, I, I have, uh, my mom has got uh, seven children and five of them stay over there yes fine we know that um, uh, 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 um, a lot of them that have been there so many decades before now mm. they could be having it well mm. but the story of people that are living from the recent times mm. is not it's palatable not yes exactly. but you still find Nigerians saying they want to go well um, going back to in the right same there. vein still going back to medical doctors mm. also you still have a number of them that are saying that do not mm. go stay yeah, here stay. Mm. something that will do. do something that something then there's something you know keeping those ones there mm. here rather yeah. do you not think there is something those ones are seeing that others aren't seeing mm. Uh, well, or you, or you personal, will say it's a mentality it depends thing. on personal choices I've, you, I've, maybe I it's a mentality thing. with um, some people who said well my mother is still alive and just like you said well, we are all gone I'm the only one to here even for my mom or my aged parents I will have gone mm. the government should sit down and have a strategic plan this is mm. the problem we have we need to have a hundred doctors we have ten the ten we have they have some have private practice, some don't have. We want to have private practice. Let's push these resources towards them. Let's um, let um, buffer if not tax holidays. You give them exactly. some support. Exactly. You give them. It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't have to be cash transfers. Mm. Yeah. You need to give them. It, some it just need recognition. That's, That's all you want. Just just recognize them, hide them. About. All these um, mm. go handling food. Oh, we are doing this much. That mm. there's a particular case um, now. The, um, a state has got um, to, um, this um, health insurance policy, and what they are offering these private doctors mm. is far far less in consultation fees. In those areas, you just switch it, pumping a bit of more funds there. Mm. If you go to this private hospital, those are the indirect ways. You keep these guys afloat because exactly. the doctor is asking you. I run a I run a private practice. I bought this 360 two three years ago. This is 800 naira today, no. and I have to do surgeries and all that. And let's say they are good doctors there. Definitely. They are fantastic. Definitely. Still, they are fantastic doctors here. Yeah. So these are the ways that okay, this and um, in this particular area, let's. Why do we? At the time, everybody was going out to India. India was the main thing. Oh, you have to exactly. go to India. What the ordinary word of mouth? You tell me, why can't we do that here? Mm. Let's have our own medical, even if it's just from particular surgery, just focus on this particular one. And the world knows this is what we are good at. They mm. will definitely come here. No, they will forget about other things. Are you saying what is happening in other clients? I mean, in other content, I mean, what's happening here mm. don't happen elsewhere. It, it happens yes. elsewhere. Mm. But if you have a particular service and mm. everybody knows you are good at that, mm -hmm. the government ha needs to have um, make a deliberate effort, not just um, trying to mm. do uh, be mm. everywhere at the same time. No, you need to have a deliberate effort and you let the citizens know this is the direction we are going. And if, in fact, even if the doctors are not cooperative, the citizens will tell them, ah, the government is doing so much for you. I beg, let's hmm. let's move in this um, in this um, direction. So that is just the best thing. But now it seems we are all about politics. We want to go back for either second term or eighth term or ninth term <laughs> no, and no, all that. And we are not. Nobody is talking about yes. healthcare. Nobody is talking. Yes. And it's because 
if, I mean, we still have it there that we can still run away, we can still travel mm. out and all that. Mm. We didn't learn. No, but what we're saying, what's mm. really happening now, the, uh, yeah, the United um, uh, uh, Emirates is a short its, its door to Nigeria. To Nigeria. And I, 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 see, I see more coming. I, I, see, I, see more, I see more coming. Of course. Yeah, I see more coming. We, we, of course. We're going to have more coming because. Um, we are having economic challenges now. It mm -hmm. is not peculiar to us. It's a global thing. Mm -hmm. It is rather unfortunate it's a global thing. Now, but other that countries is where are taking uh, measures to make sure that oh, okay, they have a buffer. They they, they sort out this thing. But we is like oh, if I can if I can bail out, then I'm good. Now you have talked about the, th that is one thing I want every Nigerian to take note of, and I keep telling people that um, this problem we have insurgency we have terrorism we have i mean if you just when was it we still had uh, the gunshot the the, the student uh, that in in the u.s in the yeah, usa yeah. Uh, the student that shot in the school and you know we have a lot of we had a lot of they had a lot of casualties and all of that so yeah. all of this is happening everywhere insurgency insecurity terrorism inflation e economic economic imbalance for crying out loud, the, the UK Prime Minister just uh, resigned because she said she, she can, there was no way she could uh, 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 perform all, um, all um, she promised. Yeah. So all of this is happening mm. all over the world. The average Nigerian is running from its problem and running into mm. a worse problem, mm. I would say. <laughs> Too far because it's good we bring out all of this to, to the public Very at true. large. Because here in Nigeria, like a friend of mine will say, you are not you are a citizen in another man's country. You are not an indigenous. Of course. Which is course. You, you will say, oh, like the lady in London. And, and, and I think uh, <laughs> we, really need, we really need to start doing a lot of orientation on this because yes. you know and it's people, easy for your friend to come here and tell you, oh, let's travel out uh, as a doctor. Mm. But it's left for you to also ask, okay. What is what the is life like as yes. taxes? Mm. When you're earning about um, mm. one thousand dollars and you've already paid tax of eight hundred dollars, I mean, what is see, left I, for I you? think I think what the mentality of an average Nigerian is when you hear, oh, pounds is eight hundred naira. You don't think about a lot of things that come. Yeah, the government has to be deliberate. Mm. If you remember way back in the eighties, oh, Andrew, don't check out. Nigeria will survive mm. and of the government needs to sit down and really be deliberate about this thing. But unfortunately, the government we have now not deliberate. It's like reactionary. We, 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 I mean, mm. uh, once things happen, mm. you get to react. Right from the, take for instance, there was flood in Pakistan two, three months ago. Mm. Yes. And mm. we all knew it was a global problem, it was mm. a climate change issue. Mm. It will come here one day. Mm. We knew. Mm. And that, so this thing is, um, we need to take our government to task. Mm. Between now and the end of this administration, either state or, or federal level, we have about six months. So mm. it's like, okay, before you go, that six months, what, what, and what? Mm. First mm. one that exactly we, we put you in power for. Not that you want, I mean, you're still trying to get, no, 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 no. And mm -hmm. see, our problem is going to come from every angle. Mm -hmm. And we need to be strategic about it. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be strategic, strategic about, about it. Yes. And, uh, well, word. we just have to tell every, tell every Nigerian out there that, mm -hmm. um, you are better off in your own country. Mm -hmm. You are better off this in your own country. Home. A lot of things, a lot of things happening out there. You, you, that mm. people out there, they at times a lot of them I know wish they can come back. A lot, a lot of them. A lot of them I, wish I they can Cyprus come back. Now, uh, yes. Cyprus now, a lot is going on. They travel. They tell you they get uh, getting your job over there and all that. And you get there, they lock you in a room and start using them for us. Any, we have to leave. We have to go this morning. A very big thank you to you, uh, our guest this morning, Tolani wow. Ojuri, Ojuri, an entrepreneur. Thank you so much for thank being our for, guest this morning. Thank you for having me. Um, well, we will get there. We will survive. We will get there. Yeah, Nigeria will survive. <laughs> so, Kari, are you close? I'm Kari Adeladeleye. Let's unite together and make Nigeria work. It will work. We will work. And for me right now, I will say to everyone then, let's us all stay here. Let's salvage mm. this country. Exactly. This country depends on you and I. Your exactly. contribution and my contribution will go a very, very long 
way. Exactly. I would always say, I would always say that uh, in Nigeria you are an indigen. Abroad, you are not an indigen. You are only a citizen. Mm. So let's all stay here. Let's try and save this country. And I strongly, I'm a patriotic, I, I am a patriotic Nigeria. I beat my chest for Nigeria. I believe <laughs> Nigeria will get better. Nigeria will be fine. Definitely. We will Definitely. get over all of this. Definitely. Bumper breakfast continues tomorrow. We will come your same time, same station tomorrow. For now, my name is Yinka Kenny. This bye. Papa, mama, brother, sister. This Lagos must work for all of us. Everybody down echo. Oh yes, Lagos people. Papa, mama, sister, brother, auntie, plus including uncle them. Better don't land for Lagos State Gidiba. Money will be for Lagos State. Then go use them for Lagos State. Well, no more Baba Sope. Then no go chop Lagos State money. Nobody go pocket Lagos State. Then go take and build Lagos State. Build road, build hospital, build houses. And now only one man fit do this job. He name na Abdulaziz or Lajide Adediron Janto. He can't carry one no bungle person as a deputy governor. Her name na Funka Kinde. My people, what will they wait for? Make we vote for light, vote for change. Nobody can change where they vote before. This one not the original change. Hmm, how am I don't do? Pay the pay. Everybody, Everybody